Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One, and this is your news for the day. Uh, a program called DART. It is stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. Um, rocket was launched just a few hours ago, and the payload was then shot even further into space. It's going to travel for over 10 months, and the plan is to hit an asteroid and to redirect it away from Earth. Now this is only a test. There's no real threat to Earth now, but they just want to design and come up with a plan in case there is an asteroid heading to Earth. Also, the eight-year-old boy has passed away from the uh, Wisconsin Parade uh, attack, so this brings a total of dead to six. A sheriff in Wisconsin has charged five of the six members of the Wisconsin Election Commission with some crimes. I will leave a link in the description. You can check out the crimes because of the nature of this, uh, even talking about it could get this video taken down. So check out the link. Also, protesters are in Turkey. They're asking for the resignation of the president because of skyrocketing inflation. And also, the falling Turkish lira is collapsed and lost a lot of value. Also, EU is proposing a law that any nation or airlines that flies uh, refugees... Uh, into or surrounding the EU for the purpose of them illegally crossing the EU border uh, will have sanctions put on it. This will include the airlines will not be able to land or refuel in any EU airport. Israel and Morocco signed a very historic defensive uh, agreement. They've already had some economic agreements and, and they have a great program promoting tourism between Israel and Morocco. But this is a major defense pact between these two countries. In Louisiana, a 66-year-old man fell asleep on the railroad tracks. He was then struck by a train. Uh, luckily, the police were able to get to him quickly, and they found his severed leg and put a tourniquet on his body and was able to save him. Also, Ethiopia uh, is involved with a civil war. It's been ongoing for a while. There's been uh, major losses on the government side. They have lost over thousands of soldiers that have been captured by the enemy rebels. Uh, also, it's claimed over tens of thousands of people have been killed and hundreds of thousands of people are having to move or in very bad conditions. Uh, governments are asking their foreign nationals to get out as quickly as possible because it's getting too dangerous. Also, China and Russia have signed a major agreement to strengthen their alliance. This will make uh, cooperation between mil military exercises and joint patrols uh, easier for them in the uh, Pacific Asia area. Also, Solomon Islands has a major protest going on. Buildings have been burned, a police station attacked. Uh, this is because of lack of promise economic development in this area. And also, the government had made a decision in 2019 to cut ties with Taiwan and to establish formal ties with China. And the people do not want this. And finally, General Mills in the middle of January will be raising hundreds of items uh, some of these items will be up in to 20% increase. Uh, a few of these I wrote down for you, just a few. Progresso, Yoplait, Fruit Roll-Ups, Betty Crocker, Pillsbury, Cheerios, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Lucky Charms, Wheaties, and the list goes on and on. So this could be a 20% increase already on the inflation we have, so plan accordingly. 